with Lakota science. There's not a definition. You can't teach it from a regular textbook. You can teach the basics of that science and the Lakota part of it, the Wolakota of it, that has to be practiced out. And whenever it's practiced by that youth, then their parents, their grandparents, they come with that and it brings strength to their family and in a sense brings them back to where we were. Generations Indigenous Ways enhances Lakota culture through Indigenous science. We teach our traditional foods, we teach our traditional ways of life with like kinship and the medicinal plants. And the kids, they take that home and they take those practices and they take those values home. And from that, the parents carry those values too. Our youth that take part in our program, they're becoming leaders themselves and they're becoming leaders in their by from them taking that extra step and going into the unknown of learning, of, of bettering themselves, they bring their families with them. Whether it be learning about recycling or learning about respect, learning about togetherness, they're, they're bringing pride to their family and to their tiyoshbae and their, their entire community. That's something to really be proud of. You can see the kids that have been coming for three years. Their parents are now volunteering. Their family members are now volunteering. This program, it's proven to be a prevention program also in the most positive way. Suicide prevention, drug and alcohol prevention. We founded Generations Indigenous Ways to save our land, to save our water, and to build leaders in our community. We founded Generations Indigenous Ways to hang on to our culture and to build strong future scientists. Science is exciting by itself. I mean, it is. To discover something, to see the faces of these kids, these youth that come through, when they discover something new, you can see the excitement on their faces. Not everybody who comes through Generations Indigenous Ways programming is going to be a scientist or engineer. They're going to learn to be stewards of the land. They're going to learn to be good-natured humans. Generations Indigenous Ways has three different main focuses. We have an after-school program that runs throughout the school year that teaches the basics of the scientific method and how to implement it with the Lakota cultural aspect. And then one of the focuses is seasonal camps. And these are all based off of Native Science Field Center model, which was successful in bringing the sciences back to the culture. How our Lakota people lived everyday life. We broke it down into the different seasons and we incorporated the sciences to match the seasons of our way of life. So these seasonal camps, there's a fall camp, a winter camp, a spring camp, and a summer science field institute. Part of the Summer Science Institute, we have one week committed to Lakota physics and we do it in a fashion of bow making. The students get to come to camp. Each one will take home their own bow that they made and they learn how to integrate the scientific method into that. We introduce them to the basic laws of physics for that age. Learning about velocity is kind of big. And they learn how to chart that. They learn how to find the kinetic energy. They learn how to find the action potential of their bow. They learn dendrology because they're learning about the different trees. They have to know hardwood versus softwood. The starters will start out with a bamboo rattan and the more advanced students are going to use our traditional wood that our ancestors used. There's a certain time to do that and there's a certain way that you do that and there's a certain energy that goes into that and that that's the Lakota part, that's the wo Lakota and that, that's the energy part. It also teaches strength and endurance in that discipline. They learn fortitude, they learn how not to give up. When they finish, you can see the confidence in them. We want to teach about the water flowing on land as well as where it's stored and our connection with that and how the different layers underneath the earth of what we can see, how they're important. Their importance to the land, their importance to the future of climate change. 
Whenever you bring Lakota culture and Western science, when they're bridged together, they have a really strong impact. We're here to help build more Lakota scientists. And we're also here to hang on to our culture and to help our youth that come through the program hang on to that culture because we know that when a Lakota child knows where they come from, knows their culture, they're stronger individuals and they're more likely to succeed in anything that they do. We have a camp to run. We have a science program, a summer science institute. And if you have $3, you're gonna have this summer science program with $3. If you have $3,000, you're gonna do the summer science program with $3,000. Some way, somehow, you get this done. Sometimes you're blessed because there's people out there with the same vision. The helper, the vision that we have to offer programming for the youth, for Lakota science. If you were to invest in that same vision, you would have a long lasting impact on these youths, their lives. It would be a long lasting impact, bringing the science to the community, bringing the opportunities to the communities that otherwise would not have this opportunity. Oh, it's so